Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Friends channel. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'm here with Geraldine, my very recent train baby with Erin from Candy Love Sparkle. And I love her so much. I named her Geraldine from my dad. And Jerry will be her name for short. But um, <laughs> we're here to say hi to Mandy at Mandy Who. I'm pretty sure that's her channel name. <laughs> I will find out, definitely. I will link her video. Mandy created a Christmas tag, and I love doing tags. However, I never had the time to do a video in a while, so I'm very happy to be here. Um, I also have my son's cat here. That's Killawa. Hi, Killawa. He is a male cat, and my three sons are here visiting for Christmas. Um, one is now at his friend's house. Um, another one is sleeping. <laughs> and uh, Killawa's uh, owner, Jeremy, is picking up some extra shifts to earn some money. So he is at work currently. So I'm like, yay, I finally have to have time to do a quick video. Um, but I wrote the tag questions on this piece of paper. And there's only five. And knowing me, I'm going to make it seem like it's like a 50 question tag. Just kidding. Because I raffle on and on and on. But I love doing tags. So if anyone, if I see a tag out there... Guaranteed I would love to play along and I always link your video So either down below or in a card or both. I love doing tags So this is a Christmas tank and um, She has five questions like I said, I'll try and so you can see oh Okay, the thing is, I really want you to see how pretty Geraldine is. But then you can't see me. We're going to scratch down. Number one, what's your all-time favorite Christmas memory? Oh my goodness, I have so many amazing Christmas memories. Background, I grew up in a household where... Christmas is a, a magical time for the kids and New Year's is a time for the parents. So um, in my family growing up, we always had beautiful decorations, uh, uh, Christmas lights, um, food galore. It's a happy, peaceful time for us kids. Um, Christmas morning in my family, uh, Santa's gifts were not wrapped. They were just magically there by the tree. And we always had a tradition coming down. We, um, our tradition is because my brother and I were upstairs and our living room was downstairs. So dad and mom had to be there. We are not allowed to go see any Santa gifts <laughs> without their permission or without them being up. One year I did sneak down. One year I remember I did sneak down and I looked at my gift. I saw what we got. I loved what we got that year, particular year. I got some purses and some girly things. Um, but you know what? I felt so guilty for doing that. I felt so guilty that I never did that again, ever, ever. <laughs> so that I guess that's the memory I remember, but it's not a favorite word. <laughs> but um, so yeah, we waited till both my parents were up and awake, or my dad got home from his shift work because he he was a meteorologist, and some nights he well they do shift work. So anyways. His job, my dad's job, would be to go down and turn on the Christmas tree lights. So it'd be magical, right? When we go downstairs and look and see what we got from Santa. But, um, so we'd always have to wait. And of course, my dad, he, sorry. 
my dad. <laughs> if you're not sure, my dad passed away recently, like in November. So, mm. dad would always say, wait, wait, no. He never said, wait, that's me saying, wait. Um, Dad would always say, oh, wow, look what Santa brought. <laughs> she looks so beautiful. Sorry about that. But, um, actually... So there was a year that I do have a very favorite Christmas memory. Um, as you can tell, I'm a sensitive person, so I cry easy. <laughs> but anyways, um, in the 90s, I was addicted to a Nintendo 64. And I had a few favorite games. Uh, Doom, I loved. Mario Kart, uh, Diddy Kong Racing, I loved. But the number one game that I really, really loved, and I beat for the first time, first game I beat on the 64 was Duke Nukem. And I loved that game. And um, not so much playing the game, but I love the Duke matches because I grew up loving the game of, like, Cops and Robbers. And I loved Hide and Seek. And we also used to make up a game, we called it Jason. It was kind of the same thing like Cops and Robbers, but it had to do with <laughs> Jason from Friday the 13th. But in, <laughs> anyways, I love the Duke match because it was the same thing. You'd have to hide. I'm starting to cough. I'm allergic to cats, by the way, so. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Sidetrack, I'm allergic to cats but I really wanted my son to be here and the only way he could be here was to bring his cat so and <laughs> his cat's just right still over there anyways um so I love this game Duke Nukem Deathmatch I absolutely loved it brought back childhood memories that I loved I love playing cops and robbers I love playing hide and go seek and then going out and killing the person or our game of Jason we used to do that a lot but, um, so Duke Nukem was a perfect stress reliever for me all these years. As an adult, I loved it. Um, now come the time of my divorce with my ex-husband. And he, in the divorce, he took the 64. So I bought myself a new machine. And um, I bought myself a new Duke Nukem, and I love playing it. That was my outlet. I still love that outlet. But then one year, my sons, because they also play these games, and they brought some games over to my exes, and um, so mistakenly, my game was left over there. My Duke Nukem, favorite game of all time. And I really, as time grew on, I really missed that game because that was my outlet to play, my stress reliever. Um, it was before the Reborns, uh, before I discovered Reborns. And I really missed that game. I went hunting for it. I wanted to buy myself a new game. I needed to find this Duke Nukem 64. Now... When Francis and I got together, he did buy me a Duke Nukem computer game, but it's different. I didn't know what, a, what kind of character Duke Nukem is. He's, I didn't like it. It was very uh, sexualized and like, it's like, what? what? And Duke Nukem is like this in real life? Oh my goodness. I mean, not in real life, but... Obviously, the Nintendo did uh, downplay the storyline of these mature games. Nintendo is a family-friendly system, and the PlayStation is, like, I don't know. I don't know if you knew this, but there is a difference between Nintendo and PlayStation. PlayStation will allow those mature adult games, but Nintendo didn't. And they always, if there was one, they 
changed them so that you wouldn't even know that what kind of character Duke Nukem really is. But anyways, I play. I didn't even get into the first round. I was only into the intro of this computer game of Duke Nukem. And I'm like, I was so disgusted with his behavior. I'm like, I'm not into that. So I didn't play it. I really missed my version of Duke Nukem. So I was on the hunt for this game. For years, for years, and I really, really, really wanted it. I missed it so much. So finally, one year, my brother surprised me with this game, and I do have a picture of it, and I'll insert the picture now. So yeah, that was the ugly cry. I was so happy and so relieved. That was the best Christmas memory. And there's a question too. What was your best Christmas present? That was also number two. What was your favorite holiday gift? And that was my favorite holiday gift. Among many, many others. This year, sorry, this year I got a rock tumbler. And I always wanted one. I was thinking of one. And then not thinking of one, and then thinking of one. They're expensive. So I got one for Christmas. Francis bought me a rock tumbler starter kit along with a refill kit. So that's pretty cool. Um, I will definitely love to start tumbling some rocks. Um, and it's such a good... I, I always loved rocks. My dad, he collected rocks and gemstones and stuff like that. I inherited... His rock collection, I don't have it at my home right now. It's a very heavy. I'll probably have to take it apart. But he categorized every single rock he has, like quartz and all these selenite and all these tons. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. I'm just rambling. So my number one and two will be combined. That was my most favorite holiday gift and memory um number three what is your favorite holiday cookie oh i have lots but probably my favorite one is called the no bake cookie or they're also called haystack cookies that's what we call them in my family but some people call them macaroons i think all it is is a no bake uh, oatmeal with chocolate and coconut cookie and it's just like a plop of yumminess, fudge, coconut, oatmeal. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's my favorite holiday cookie of all time. Yeah. Um, questions. So that is probably my favorite holiday cookie. We call them haystack. Uh, number four, what is your favorite holiday movie? Oh, I have so many. Oh my goodness. Probably, the, of course, a traditional one. A, tori a Christmas story. <laughs> Tongue tied. A Christmas story. Um, also, the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. My personal favorite, Mixed Nuts. I love that movie. Um, Francis is White Christmas. Um, yeah, the old, the old, the old one. <laughs> um, he introduced me to that movie, actually. I also love Santa with Muscles. <laughs> is starring Hulk Hogan. That's a funny one. Jingle All the Way. Oh, and Fred Claus is probably my recent favorite one so but i have lots yeah <laughs> charlie brown christmas yeah what is your favorite holiday song oh my goodness i also have lots of favorite songs um not by particularly who sings them like the carols is what i'm talking about but one particular carol that makes me cry <laughs> is Oh, Holy Night. 
Oh, so bad. <laughs> it's too sensitive sometimes. But the part where it goes fall on my knees, I cried that part. <laughs> fall on my knees. Okay, I can't sing my good. Um, another favorite song of mine is when I was a kid and I would have nightmares of like dark spiritual ghosts or anything or like anything dark i would start singing silent night <laughs> and uh, and soon my dream would turn into a positive dream so <laughs> I, that's my backup song is silent night holy night that one <laughs> that's another one of my favorite carols um now as for certain songs played um, the Boney M Christmas album is traditional in my family as, as well as the Elvis Presley Christmas song. I'll be home for Christmas and Blue Christmas. That's okay. That is my favorite. The, I'll have a Blue Christmas or but I'm going to go for now and upload you. Thank you, Mandy, for this fun tag. And I hope that everyone else is having a very relaxing Christmas holidays or holidays, whatever you celebrate. I hope that you're having a wonderful, peaceful time. Happy New Year's is coming up right away. 2024. Can you believe it? I can't. <laughs> So anyways, guys, hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, very soon, I hope. <laughs> until next time, guys. Bye for now. Much hand. Bye, guys. Much hand. Love you. Bye, guys. Bye.